Good morning. We are here today to represent Students for Sustainability, an environmental group within Port Townsend High School dedicated to making our future more sustainable. Woo! For the past year and a half, our club has been working on a bill that could dramatically reduce the amount of litter in Washington State. During one of our many trips to Olympia, we sat down with our state representatives and lobbyists to talk about the future of our bill. Unfortunately, the meeting did not go as planned. The second we walked into the room, we felt out of place. Students for Sustainability sat on one side of the table. There was 10 of us, most of which were women and all members of SFS. Across from us were lobbyists, representatives, and lawyers. Behind us was a row of pictures that stretched across the entire room, all of which were portraits of white men. At the beginning of the meeting, we realized that our opposition was strong. Although we understand that a lobbyist's job is to support their client's interests, we couldn't help but feel that it was more than just your typical legislative meeting. We came in fired up and ready to make change, but we left feeling defeated. Instead of having our ideas taken seriously, we were given smaller, easier things to take on, as if we, a group of kids, were not capable of making serious change. It was at that moment that we realized that our bill was bigger than we thought. It represented more than just cleaner streets. It showed us that although we are just kids, together we are powerful. And when we work hard, we are impossible to ignore. It's time to start taking what really matters seriously. As environmental activists, we recognize that our climate is changing rapidly and we need to take action before it's too late. As young women, we know the statistics of sexual assault are real. It's time to change our behavior. As kids, we know that our dreams and our ideas are the future. We must be heard. We are here today to tell you that we are here. We are listening. And whether our leaders like it or not, we are ready to make change. Whether it be our environment or our politics, it is clear that our world is changing before our eyes. As a community, through marching, through voting, midterm elections, and through raising our voices, we can make a difference bigger than ourselves. Look around at all the people here today. Although we may be here for different reasons, we all came together. And in the small town of Port Townsend, we are united. We are strong. And we are truly making a difference. One year ago, 2.5 million people decided that enough is enough. We are done with injustice. Regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation or identity, religion, and political party, we as human beings took to the streets with pink pussy hats on our heads and change in our hearts. That was the beginning. Today, our fight continues. Beautifully done. Beautifully 
said.